Orientation on National Education Policy 2020. So the National Education Policy was framed in 1986 and modified in 1992. More than three decades have passed since the previous policy. During the during this period, significant changes have taken place in our country, social society, economy, and the world at large. It is in this context that the education sector needs to gear itself towards the demand of 21st century and the needs of the people and the country. Quality innovation and research will be the pillars on which India will become a knowledge superpower. Clearly, a new education policy is needed. What purpose does a national education policy serve? A national education policy or NEP is a comprehensive framework to guide the development of education in the country. A new policy usually comes along every few decades. The latest policy is India's third. It replaces the 1986 NEP, which was in place for 34 years. New structure of the school curriculum is like this. First is foundation stage. It is three, three years of Anganwadi or P school followed by class one to two. Second is preparatory stage. It, is, it, is, it includes class three to five. Third is middle stage. Class six to eight and last stage. It includes class nine to twelve. Thank you. Class two board structure is being dropped now. New school structure will be five plus three plus three plus four. Second point B. Up to class five to be named as preschool, classes six to eight as mid school, classes eight to eleven as high school, classes twelve onward to be considered as graduation. Third point. Sixth standard onward vocational course available. Fourth point. From eight to eleven, the student can choose subjects. Next. Next. Five point. All graduation courses will have major and min, min example science. A student can have physics and as major and music as minor also many combinations he she can choice. Six point. All higher education will be governed by only one authorized. Seven point UGC AICT will be merged. Eight point all university government private open demand vocational ETC will have the same guarding and other rules. Ninth new teacher training board will be set up from the kinds of teacher is in the countries no state can change. Ten the same level of education in any college based on the testing college will be get autonomous autonomous right and funds next Hello. the new basic learning program will be created by the government for parents to eat children up to 3 year at home and for preschool 3 to 6 multiple entries and exist from any course create system for graduation for each year a student will be get some credits which he can utilize to if the take off break in the course of comes back again to complete the course all schools exam will be semester wise twice a year the syllabus will be reduced to core knowledge of any subject only more focus on a student practical and application knowledge for any graduation course, if a student complete only one year, he will get a basic certificate. If he complete two year, then they will get diploma certificate. And if he completed full course, then he will get degree certificate. So no year of any student will be washed if the breaks of the course in between. All graduation course feed Feed of all universities will be governed by the single authority with catching on each course. Thank you. 2020. Transforming circular pedagogical structure. It is divided into two parts. Existing academic structure 
and new academic structure new pedagogical and circular structure of school education 5 plus 3 plus 3 plus 4 3 year in anganwadi pre school and 12 year in school secondary studies multi disciplinary study greater critical thinking flexibility and student choice of subjects middle studies experimental learning in the science math arts social science and humanities preparatory studies play discovery and activity based on the activity class learning fundamental studies multi level play activity based learning second point is higher education सर बैचलर डिग्री का जो सर जो क्राइटेरिया है वो कोर्स थ्री और फोर इयर्स का होता है इसमें यदि कोई भी स्टूडेंट यदि वन या टू इयर्स में एग्जिस्ट हो जाता है तो उसको भी उसका कोर्स का सर्टिफिकेट मिलेगा और जो जैसे कि जे मेन्स और नीट का जो एग्जाम होगा वो नेशनल टेस्ट एजेंसी कंडक्ट करेगी विल बी रिप्लेस द एग्जिस्टिंग नेशनल काउंसिलिंग ऑफ टीचर एजुकेशन and it nct all india council for teacher education aict and the university grants commission ugc phase of the application system at the university level offered a period of 15 year increasing gross enrollment ratio ger in higher education from the current 26.3% to 50% by 2035, adding 3.5 crore seats in higher education. The last one is higher education learning plan. A look at the key features of new education policy, public spending on education by state center. to rise to 6% of gdp ministry of human resource development to be renamed ministry of education separate technology unity of develop digital education resource school education universalization from age 3 to class 10 by 2030 mission to ensure literally and numerically skill by 2025 mother tongue as a medium of instruction still class 5 where possible we news uh, hello talk to the teacher education so by uh, 2023 the minimum qualification of teachers will be four year integrated degree emphasizing on a strengthening and transparency of the teacher recruitment process nct to formulate a new and comprehensive national curriculum uh, framework uh, for teacher education uh, uh, 2021 nct to frame national professional standards for teacher and pst 2022 digital drive now from digital drive uh, technology in education will be an autonomous body the national education technology forum will be created for the exchange of ideas on the use of technology to enhance learning assessment planning and administration a dedicated unit for the digital content and capacity building will be set up in the ministry financial support will be mysterious uh, students belonging to sc st obc and other socially and economically disadvantaged group will be given incentives private institutions will be encouraged to offer scholarships to their student professional education a stand alone technical universities health science universities legal and agriculture universities will aim to becoming multidisciplinary institution now other major objectives are establishment of national education commission establishment of special education zone to improve education among unrepresented underrepresented groups in disadvantaged region 
gender inclusion funds for improving the providing education for females and transgender children establishment of national education technology forums a platform to facilitate the free exchange for ideas or technology users in education national assessment center parak will assess the students next now establishment of new language institutions such as the uh, indian institute of translations and interpretations and national institute institute of pali parisians and parkrit establishment of national missions of mentoring national book promotion policy national missions on foundational literacy and numeracy increasing the education expenditure form the current 4.6% to 6% of the gdp at the earliest massive uses of technology in education planning teaching learning and assessment next now uh, let's uh, overview the exactly uh, basically difference between uh, old education policy and new education policy so uh, with the curriculum structure uh, with the old education policy it was a 10 plus 2 school but uh, with the new education policy it uh, turns into 5 plus 3 plus 3 plus 4 school for board exam it was a difficult process but it will be easier and flexible with the new education policies for master of philosophy courses it will be it will it were continued but it will be discontinued after that Techn uh, sorry teaching language uh, was uh, english language but uh, it will be mother tongue or regional language after that next now uh, the conclusion of whole process was uh, uh, national education policy is a big revolution replacing the 34 year old policy ideas and in envisionings or uh, to bring about the much needed modifications in the indian education system the policy has maintained a de uh, delicate balance between the traditional and interdisciplinary approach which is need of the 21st century national education policy has the potential to revamp the skill of the youth of our country and has uh, all right tools that are needed to be comp competitive at the global level needless to say the education policy is undoubtedly a progressive and ambitious policy that india is awaiting for next yeah that's all about